Bolo Buddies, this is not my normal video and I was gonna put this on my sourcing channel, but you guys are not going to be able to stop watching. Holy cow. Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Pendleton, holy cow dress with side pockets, button front. <gasps> oh, ah, look at the cows. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? I th that does say Christian Dior. That is a good brand, right, you guys? I mean, it's just kind of plain, but it's cashmere Hong Kong. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's Santa Claus! All right, Bolo Buddies, I don't normally put these types of videos, the preview videos over on this channel, but oh my goodness, I was going through a bag of vintage clothes that I'm bringing tonight to Whatnot, and some of the clothes, I give you some tips and some things to look for, but holy cow, these clothes are amazing. Um, this will be my second vintage clothing uh, show, so I hope you guys will all join me tonight at 9 15 p.m eastern standard time on my whatnot channel but enjoy uh the little preview that i'm going to give you guys right now thanks for watching okay bolo buddies it is time for another whatnot auction i just pulled all this stuff in from the garage and we are going to be having a show tonight 9 15 p.m eastern standard time on whatnot bolo buddies there's a link down in the description um, if you guys have not joined Whatnot already, you can use that link to join and you'll get $15 of free money to shop. How incredible is that? Um, if you already have joined, um, that is a referral link, but it'll also take you over so you guys can follow me, okay? So, I found another bag of the amazing wool blankets. Um, almost sold out of these the other night. I did have, I think, four left over that I will bring back tonight um, if you decided hey I want that one but check this out I'm gonna start out with some of these smalls I've got some really beautiful scarves and um, some of these uh, I can't remember what these are called uh, what type of hats these are but I have some of these they are 100% um, wool I mean just incredible I don't know how many of those are in here but lots of um, really great winter items, but I thought I would start with these because they are lightweight, but I think Whatnot has some special thing going on right now with shipping for uh, clothing. So I really wanted to get another show in quickly, but let's just take a peek in some of these bags and um, see what we've uh, got here. This one right here on top is this sweater and look at this oh my goodness you guys if you don't know these things sell um some of them can be a major bolo now here's the deal all of these items came from an estate uh they were doing a clean out and they would basically get in touch with me and i would come pick it up and i would go through all the clothing and a lot of it i donated i gotta tell you some of it wasn't stored correctly and I will be looking at stuff as we go through. I'm just going to be pulling it out of the bags and making sure that I didn't miss any damage or anything like that. Here's the brand on this one. Um, says made in China, but this is definitely a vintage tag. So uh, just a cool, fun little ice skating sweater. Anything that's unique and different like this are things that you want to be on the lookout for. Could I put this on eBay and sell it for more than I'm going to sell it on Whatnot tonight? I definitely could. But I am really trying to get out of clothing. I don't want to do the measurements. I don't want to do photos with whatnot. I don't have to do those things. So if you're wondering why am I not listing this on eBay, that is why. Um, I enjoy hard goods and toys and um, vintage Christmas. Like I did some vintage Christmas sales also over on whatnot, just trying to get a feel for the um, platform. And I loved it, but it was so hard for me to sell those items because I love listing them. Clothing, I don't want to do it anymore. I did it for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years and I just have no interest. So um, I'm loving whatnot. So I may be bringing toys and stuff to whatnot also. I just feel like I'm going to branch out and I never seem to get to my jewelry. 
So I think I'm going to do jewelry over there. If you guys are interested in selling on whatnot, there is a referral link down below. Um, here's a pair of Pendleton. Looks like they're pants. I don't know if these are men's or women's. If you're interested in selling on whatnot, um, there is a link down below. If you guys use that referral link, see there is some yellowing in here, but these are vintage guys. You're going to have that. Sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. Hold on. Let me say this before I move on. <laughs> if you're interested in selling on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below also. You can click on that. It is different than the buying link. So if you're already on whatnot as a buyer and you want to sell, click on the seller's link. That will tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you and you may get accepted quicker. I have had people tell me that they do not have a following um, on social media and they have used my link and been accepted. I also had somebody say they got declined when they, I think the category they picked was vintage clothing. So it really depends maybe also a little bit on the category. So if you uh, kind of go with thrift stores and estate sales, which is mostly probably what you do if you follow me, that's kind of a general category. Just make sure you pick a category that applies to you and that um, maybe isn't as saturated as vintage clothing. So that's some a Pendleton um, thing there. Brass Eagle. This is just a nice, cool vintage sweater. All this stuff is vintage, guys, and I'm bringing it all to you guys tonight. Um, ooh, we do have some vintage lingerie. I did have a vintage lingerie sale that I got from this estate. The tags cut out on this one, but it's a great color. Um, navy blue there. So who knows what we are going to find in here? What is that? Is that a nightgown? A vintage nightgown? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Carriage court. Look at the beauty. Look at the lace. Oh my goodness. You guys, there's just so much great stuff here. I know I could make tons of money on eBay selling this stuff, but, um, I don't want to. So come to my show tonight, um, 9, 15 PM Eastern standard time. I will link it down in the description. So you guys can just click on that and bookmark it. This one is another, um, this one's a slip. Sorry, I'm using one hand. Somebody just said that they hate it when people use one hand because I, I understand, but I, this one's Bali. Um, but I didn't want to uh, get out every, all, all my, uh, oh golly, what do you call it? My tripod is downstairs my ring light. Okay. Here is the cutest little dress. Oh my goodness. Um, most of this is going to be adult women's clothing, but if there is a thing or two that is children's in here, I am going to leave it. Um, size four. Let me see if it sells. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's JC Penny. It's vintage. Look how cute this is. I am going to have a whole show dedicated to children's and baby clothing because I have a ton of vintage items. They will all be vintage. That'll be another show. But again, if there's something in here that is um, children's in one of these bags, I'm just bringing it. So some of these can do really good. Um, you're looking for the ones that have the elephant trunk up. Um, those are the ones that sell for big money. However, this one is made in the USA and is still a nice uh, bandana, whatever you want to call it. What is this? A swimsuit? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a vintage Speedo. Oh my goodness. Wow. How cool is that? Vintage Speedo and it's a great size, size 11, 12. Um, very cool. We have another, um, wow, I'm surprised how much um, vintage lingerie is in here. This is great. Um, this one is by Lorraine, 100% nylon, made in the USA. What's this? Is this gonna be another Pendleton? Yep, another Pendleton. I think these are men's. These look like men's, so that's good. Um, I had to donate so much of the Pendleton because they had little holes in them, I think from moths. Some of the items were stored in different locations throughout the house. Um, these that I kept, I'm gonna double check them again when I do the video, but if I kept them, it means I didn't see any issues, but I am gonna double check again tonight when we are live. Oh my goodness, another wrap skirt. I sold a ton of these. Look, it has a frog. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I love this. I love these wrap skirts. If I could pull them off, I would totally wear them. Um, these are so fun. Um, actually, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle bought most of my wrap skirts. So, Noelle, if you're watching, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I have um, a wrap skirt here. 
What is this one? This is another, uh, this one's Vanity Fair. I don't know why it has a safety pin in it. USA, made in USA, vintage Vanity Fair. Oh, look at all the lace. Oh my goodness, look at that lace. Wow. Um, here's another, I don't know what it is. We'll look tonight. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys. Oh my, oh, what? What? Christian Dior, isn't that like a really good brand? Holy cow. Made in Taiwan, it's vintage Christian Dior. It does have a little bit of yellowing on the collar here. I don't know if you guys can get that out. I am leaving this in, holy cow. What? I th that does say Christian Dior. That is a good brand, right you guys? Oh my goodness. I don't even remember what's in here. I did this over the summer. So this stuff has been just sitting. I thought I was gonna maybe list it on eBay, talk myself into it. And I decided I just don't want to. Look at this little cuteness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a, like a little romper. I got to quit showing you guys everything. You, you're not going to be surprised tonight when I bring it. Um, I do not put anything in the catalog because I am just, this might be handmade. There is no tag in here. Oh wait, here we go. Duh. It's on the back. Size six Sears. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I love it. So the this is the front with the buttons. That is adorable. So that's a kid's, that's a, a, a young girl's, um, a six-year-old, I think. And, oh my goodness, there is some kid's stuff in here for you guys that like to um, buy or sell kid's clothing. This one has no tag, so little squirt. Ah, so cute. Ugh. And there's a mix. Uh, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, you guys. I'm just, I can't even believe it. Are these like, um, that looks like a, a dinosaur, but I think it, is it a dinosaur? What is this? Is it, I don't know what's happening in this sweater. What is happening? Let's see what brand it is. The Eagle's Eye, Shetland Wool, size medium, made in Korea. You guys, this stuff is fantastic. Can you believe it? There's another skort. Um, oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, it's a dress. Oh, it's a size five dress, Lazarus Columbus. Oh my gosh, Columbus is local to me. So um, kind of local, I have to drive a little ways to get to it. But look at this dress. You guys, if you do vintage, you have got to watch this video. Holy cow. I'm gonna stop, you guys have to come. Oh my gosh, a little eeny, itty bitty, teeny, tiny bikini, 6, 6X Sears. Look how cute that is. So there is some kids clothes. There are, there are, oh my goodness, look. <gasps> what is this? Oh, that's one of those. Oh no, I thought this was one of those owl t-shirts that um, I brought. Mathematics, science, I don't know. Madame Curie, single stitch guys. XXL made in the USA. That is definitely a vintage tee. I don't know if it's like a, one that'll go for big money, but it's definitely vintage. I gotta stop, I gotta stop. I got a stop. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that is just not even a full bag. I have bam, 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 and bam right here. And I'm super excited. I will see you guys tonight. Um, get that link down below. Thanks for watching. All right. I decided to do a little more. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, here's an Ohio State blanket. That's vintage. What is this? What is this? I know there's uh, women's like clothing in here as well. Oh my goodness. You'll see why I said I decided to keep going because I'm gonna pop this in, but I was um, Cano or Cano, K-O-N-O, 11-12. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. What else do we have? This looks like a wool skirt. It is Ivan Pacone, Union Made. Here is a, oh, look at the colors of that. Oh, those are fabulous. Wow. Um, this one is by Deans of Scotland. Man, that is beautiful. I just love the colors in that. Um, here's another sweater. Oh, the print. 
And I was telling um, in my during my whatnot live that my husband's like, I wish you would just wear this stuff. I'm like, well, most vintage clothing is small. Um, if it says it's a size 10, it's probably a size eight. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what, you, those of you that sell vintage clothing, you know it runs small. Um, so these things are not gonna fit me. It does have a little mark right there, um, but look how cute this is. These are the things that you guys want to definitely be on the lookout for. Um, wow, just incredible, just incredible. What's this? Another Pendleton, it's a Pendleton. Is this a skirt or pants? These are pants and these are women's. These are women's pants. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> I'm so excited. I almost feel like this load is like better than the night last night or two nights ago. And two nights ago was amazing. Lamb's wool and Angora rabbit fur. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful you guys. Oh, geez. I can't even, I can't even look at this. This like goes under, um, it's like a fake collar. It does have a little bit of, well, is it yellowing or is that how it's made? That might be how it's made. Look at that, look at the cutouts. So you put this like under a sweater, right? And this pops out. Huh, how cool is that? I don't know what it's called. I don't care, cause I'm not listing it. You are, you are, I'm not listing it. Okay, what's this? August silk knits, 100% silk. Um, that looks newer, I don't know. Let's see, made in China. Yeah, that's a newer um, item. I don't know how that got mixed in here, but I mean, I guess maybe she probably bought stuff for herself also that was not vintage. Here's another Woolrich with the, the bucks. Look these up, you guys. These are money. Let's see. Um, I don't know. This one's made in China too, but it's definitely a vintage piece. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. I got to quit showing you guys. It's going to be so fun to look. Ah, look at the cows. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Allison Smith. How cool is that? Shetland wool again. Lamb's wool made in Hong Kong. Would you look at it? Wow. There's a knee brace. Um, Ann Taylor, 100% cashmere, Hong Kong. Cashmere, Hong Kong. So it's vintage. I mean, it's just kind of plain, but it's cashmere, Hong Kong. Wow. Who can't stop watching? <laughs> Who can't stop watching? Um, here's another one of this, these brands. Shetland Wool again. Look at the details. Look at it. Oh, it's all coming to whatnot. It's all coming to whatnot. Oh my goodness, it's Santa Claus! Oh, Robert Scott, Pure Wool, Hong Kong. Look at these things, you guys. Wow, look at this. Oh. I'm asking myself, what am I doing? Am I really doing this? Am I really doing it? I already did it once, I'm doing it again, guys. I'm doing it again, I'm selling it all to you through whatnot. What's this one? Here's another one of those. Shetland Wool, Hong Kong. Oh, look at the colors on this. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's beautiful. Braemar, 100% wool, Korea. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Here's another one of these. There was a whole bunch of these. Um, this one's Eddie Bauer. Look up the Eddie Bauer. Look it up with the deer. Um, I looked it up last night because somebody, I, I believe it was Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. She said she was going to make something out of it. And I'm like, wait, 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 you need to look these up. And I looked up comps and there's some people that sold them too cheap. But if you look at the high solds, they, they can go for big money. You guys list high and hold out for the right buyer. LL Bean, Hong Kong, 100% pure wool. I just can't stop. I just keep pulling stuff out. What is this? And who knows what's in the other bag? Who knows? Is it all winter stuff? Not necessarily. Dry clean only size 12. I don't see a tag in that. Is that a skirt? Wow, look at that. Wow. Are you guys enjoying this? Do you like this type of video? 
I mean, it's not something I'm going to do on a regular basis, obviously, because I don't, th this is it. Pendleton, holy cow dress with side pockets, button front. <gasps> oh my gosh. Amazing. We're getting to the bottom of this bag. Here is another fun dress. This one is by Elaine Hart. Let's see. Looks like it's like a type of maybe a shirt dress, a long shirt dress. Look at that. How cool is that? All right, you guys, the rest of the bags are going to be a mystery. So I will see you tonight at 9 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Whatnot. Bolo Buddies, all one word. Okay, Bolo Buddies, if you made it this far, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And I know that not everybody wants to buy on Whatnot, and that is completely fine, but I just had to share these vintage items with you guys. Um, even if you don't want to buy and you just want to come hang out in the chat, I would love to see you guys in the chat. Now, I will tell you the chat moves super, super fast. So if I don't acknowledge you, I am so sorry, but it is so hard to like read the chat and show items and plug everything in. So I am not ignoring you. If you come over and say hello, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, just come watch, even if you don't buy anything, but definitely click on that link down below. It's a referral link. So you will get $15 to shop on whatnot and make sure you put your payment information in because you're not going to be able to bid unless your payment info is entered. Somebody last night was like, I can't bid, I can't bid. And I'm like, you have to like click and slide to bid and you have to have your payment information in. And besides that, it's really easy. Um, the payment's automatically deducted as soon as you buy the item. And I, if you wanna know how it works as a seller, you get paid, it's kind of like Mercari and Poshmark. You don't get paid until after the um, item is delivered, but you do, um, the money is, taken from the um yeah the buyer's account immediately so you know that you're gonna get paid it's not like ebay where you're like am i gonna get paid for the item so i do like that about whatnot also so super excited about this new platform i'm selling on i hope to see you all tonight thank you so much for watching and that's it thanks for watching